Good evening and a very warm welcome to Night Prayer. My name is Caroline and I'm the vicar here at St Peter and St Paul's Church in Mansfield and it's a delight to be uniting with you in worship as we come to the end of another day. So whether wherever you are this night, whatever this day is held for you, we are here gathered in the presence of God. So we pray knowing that God's heart is always open to our cries. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we think back on the day just past. We remember what this day has held for us. But within it all, we notice where God has been present in our lives and what God has been saying to us today. Conscious, conscious of the times when we have failed God, let us confess together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought and word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Some words from the Iona community. We pray. Come, Lord Jesus. You too were tired when day was done. You met your friends at evening time. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. You too enjoyed when nights drew on. You told your tales at close of day. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. You kindled faith when lamps were low. You opened scriptures, broke the bread and shed your light as darkness fell. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Our psalm this evening is uh, Psalm 31, some verses from that psalm. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in the refuge of, in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged, I had said in my alarm, I've been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you, his servants. For the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, 
on you who wait in hope for the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So we'll hear God's word for us tonight, this evening. And this evening we are turning to Luke chapter 15 beginning at verse 11, and it's the parable of the lost son. Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. <clears throat> Not long after that, the younger son got together all that he had and set off for a distant country, and there he squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out as a citizen to that country, who sent him to his fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare? And here I am, starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. So he got up and went to his father. But when he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick! Bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now he's found. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing so he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because we had him back safe and sound. The older brother became angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. You never gave me even a young goat so I, that I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours who squandered your property with prostitutes came home, you killed a fattened calf for him. My son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost. And now he is found. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. 
my own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. So we can continue with our prayers of intercession as we lift our cares and concerns before God. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that when we are still far off, you run to meet us and welcome us home. We thank you, Father, that whenever we drift off uh, your path, whenever we get distracted by the cares of the world, whenever we get tempted to follow other ways and ignore your will for us. Lord, we thank you that you are ready to forgive and ready to welcome us home. We pray that we as a church will be committed to reaching out to the lost, to those around us and in your world who find themselves far from you searching in the wrong places for fulfilment. Those who've got themselves um, trapped and stuck in difficult places. We Lord, Lord, we pray that we as a church will help people find their way home to you. And Lord, we are sorry when we are like the older son. When we see your grace and your goodness and we are tempted to focus on ourselves and not on the great gift that you've given us as well as them. As a church, may we be your good news to our community. We thank you, Father, that we have a beautiful building. We thank you for its history we thank you for the ways that it speaks of your presence and your permanence. Lord, we pray that we will be good stewards of that building. May we not idolise bricks and mortar, but may we recognise the opportunity that it gives to draw people closer to you. Lord, we especially hold before you our plans as a PCC, as a church, for the renovation of, of the windows um, in the east end of the church. We pray too for the masonry work that we need to do also. We just pray, Lord, that as we um, move this project um, further towards completion, we pray that we will give you glory. We also hold before you our finances at this time when our promise programme is just concluding. Lord, help us to be good stewards of your resources. Help us to use our money wisely as a church and as individuals. May we recognise the resources that we have, financial, but also the gifts of our time and our talents, the gifts of our energy and our love and our prayer. Help us as a church family, to be generous with what we have, that it will be given back to you for your glory. Lord, 
And loving Lord Jesus, we continue to pray for our church vision. We pray for our calling um, to be a place where all can belong. Just pray, Lord, that as we look forward uh, over these next few weeks into the Advent and Christmas period, may we open our doors wide, but Lord, also open our arms and our hearts wide. as you open your heart to all. We pray and thank you for the gift of our music in our church. We pray that you will continue to strengthen it. We pray for the music group um, and John as they prepare this Sunday to bring us our music in, in, um, in the Everyone Together service. Lord, we hold before you too our children and our young people. We thank you for the, the youth group. We pray that you'll keep strengthening them. But also, Lord, we hold before you our plans for our young people, the plans to hope to welcome another person into our team that will, that will help nurture them. And Lord, we pray too for our calling to, to serve our community in this place. May we not be a mystery building to people, but may we be an open and known, living and loving family of people, ever ready to serve, ever ready to welcome our community and help people to find their faith and their place within our church family too. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. You spoke your words of peace and new life and reconciliation. And Lord, you spoke those words in your holy land. We pray for peace upon that holy land today, for Israel and Gaza all that's going on there, all the tangled web of, of pain and hurt. Lord, we pray for a, a just and peaceful future. That all may be able to flourish in that place. We pray too for your protection upon the Christian community and the strength that they need to be a beacon of hope and of peace in that place. In our own country we hold before you all those who at this time are living in unsuitable places, places which are badly kept places which are unsafe, places which are too small for their family's needs, those who this night will be um, sleeping on a friend's sofa instead of in their, own, in their own home, those for whom their home is unsafe because of abuse or because of what's going on around them. We pray that our homes, um, whatever they may be like, will be places of peace and safety and security and love. We pray for um, councils and housing associations and landlords that they will discharge their duties um, with a real care and concern for those who they house. We pray tonight for those who will be sleeping rough, who do not have a home to call their own. 
We pray, Lord, that they will find a place to be and to belong. It is safe for them. It is safe for those around them too. And whatever it has been that has caused them to be in that situation, we pray for healing upon them. Trusting that you alone, Lord, know what they need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, behold before you our town. We thank you for the life of our town. We thank you for our neighbours. We thank you for the neighbourliness that sustains Mansfield. We thank you for those who serve us in our town, through our council, through our um, medical services, um, through um, those who provide schooling and infrastructure and um, look after our streets and parks and roads. We thank you for those who serve us. May we be servants to each other in this place. May we love our neighbours as much as we love ourselves. And as the weather gets colder, we hold before you those who um, will struggle with the colder weather because of ill health, because of um, poverty, not being able to afford bills. those for whom the darkness causes um, depression or anxiety. May we look out for each other. We hold before you our, our warm space and our food bank and their work. Um, we pray that you'll grant real wisdom to the team as they welcome in vulnerable people. We pray for all uh, the guests in all of their um, gifts and goodness, but also in their vulnerabilities too. May they have glimpsed your love through the warm space and the food bank. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord Jesus, we know that you are a God of goodness and healing. You bring new life in all sorts of ways, through forgiveness, through um, a new start, through physical healing, through mental and emotional healing. Lord, we hold before you those who are struggling at this time. We think of Leonard, Deborah, Kate, John and David. We think of Dorcas and Anne, Peter, Betty, David, Tommy and Sally, Joanne and Molly, Liz, Elsie. Edward and anyone else on our hearts at this time. We pray that you will surround each of them with your, your love and your grace in a real way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for the, for the gift of life. And we remember those who've completed their earthly journeys, especially thinking of Irene, Elizabeth, Ted and Barbara. We thank you for their lives and pray that you will welcome them into their new life in you. We trust in your goodness, Lord. And we pray that your peace will Rain upon those who love them and miss them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And finally, we think of ourselves, Lord, as at the end of another day and we lay at your feet all the things that we're carrying, all of our unfinished business, all of our trepidation for tomorrow. And we lay it at your feet and ask that in this night you will grant us rest and peace in you and that in the morning you will help us to carry those burdens once again. And we pray safe in the knowledge that you will lighten the loads that we carry. And we pray our vision prayer. Loving God, as you opened your heart to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, open our hearts in welcome, that our church family may be a place for all to belong. Open our hearts in praise, that our music may enrich and deepen our worship. Open our hearts to cherish and encourage our children and young people in faith. Open our hearts to know and serve our wider community with hope. Rooted in Jesus' love, bless and guide us at St Peter and St Paul's as we follow the vision you have given for our life together. In your holy name we pray. Visit our homes and our church, O oh Lord, we pray, and drive far from them the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts that with all the saints in light, we may shine as lights in the world. Amen. And a very good night to you all.